Hey, hey y'all. So today we are going to be giving you all the full scoop about our engagement. So yeah, let's get into it for our story time. All right, so how this is gonna go is I'm gonna give my perspective first and then Jacob is gonna give his. So to start off with, I guess we'll take it back to when I started even thinking about it, which was pretty much last September. So September of 2023 is kind of when I started thinking about it. And well, actually, I guess it was a little bit even further than that. It was more like August of 2023, towards the end of August. But that's when I kind of started thinking about it and started getting more serious about researching and stuff like that. And then it was pretty much, it kind of not took a lull, but not much happened other than just me trying to think of stuff in like my head. Mm -hmm. um, and like how I was going to like start asking. I can talk to my parents about it, ask her parents about it. And that kind of started in December. So towards the end of December, December 28th is when I first talked to my mom. And then I ended up getting sick <laughs> that you next got week. sick, y'all, yeah. like with the flu, right? It was literally like the day after New Year's. But, yeah, it was. <laughs> it was bad. Even on New Year's night, I was even saying like, I'm sick. But yeah, yeah so I ended up getting the flu. That lasted like a good five six days mm -hmm. it was bad um so that delayed everything <laughs> but at that but up until that point i was doing like daily vlogs about everything and then when i got sick i ended up missing a few days just because it just it just didn't work out but it turned into weekly vlogs because stuff was not going super fast so you know like there wasn't something every single day so it turned into weekly vlogs and then when stuff started happening, like asking mama, asking her parents and stuff and doing little updates and calling places to figure out where I wanted to do it and trying to figure out all the logistics, then it kind of turned back into daily vlogs. But after talking to my mom, um, I also talked to like my brother, my mom, my other brother. And then I guess it was, your, it was her parents after that. And that was four weeks before that Saturday that, or this, you know, previous Saturday that it happened on. So that was four weeks before then. And then two weeks before then I talked to her sister about it. So, so like the end of January, beginning of February is probably when you talked to my parents or mid end of January. Yeah. Yeah. End of January. And then it was mid February when I talked to her sister, it was four weeks on the dot for her parents and then two weeks on the dot for her sister. Her family and her sister, they both knew exactly what I was coming to ask. Like her parents were messing with me, had like Jeopardy, like like abnormally loud on the TV, like, <laughs> you know, completely messing with me. But so they knew what I was asking. Cause it's hard, right? Like, you know, what are you gonna say? Like, no matter what you say, they just know. Like, your parents are going to know. Mm -hmm. um, no matter if you text them, hey, can I come talk to you? If you call, I mean, they're going to know. So, that's an interesting story. But came with, with them, had, like, all the stuff to talk about, you know, if they wanted to talk about in detail. But they were just, like, you know, just excited. They were just, they were just ready to ask when it was going to happen and what they needed to do. So... It was good. And then her sister, I tried to lie to her and be like, hey, can we talk about Allie's birthday? <laughs> I tried to Did lie. Did you really? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, I was like, I really want to surprise Allie this year for her birthday instead of doing gifts. I was like, but I need your help. So I tried to persuade her with Chick-fil-A breakfast. <laughs> and that morning she cancels on me to do bagel exchange, which was fine. But so we ended up not going until later because of that. Well, then she's like texting me. And stuff so I'm trying to talk to her sister, but it was funny because, like, Sydney said she, like, knew. She didn't want to tell me what she thought it was because in case it was wrong. But, like, we literally just ate and, like, talked like normal. Like, she never brought it up at all. And then, like, towards the end, she was, okay, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> and then she was like, I think I know, but I don't want to say. So, like, I tried to get her to say it, but she wouldn't. Um, it was so sweet, y'all. So, he asked my parents and my sister for, like, permission and their blessing and everything it was mm -hmm. so sweet but she knew too she was like i know it wasn't her birthday yeah 
But uh, let me tell y'all my side of the story of when this was going on, okay? So I had no idea that this was going on. That's been like a number one asked question for me. It's like, oh my gosh, were you surprised or did you like know? And I had I truly had no idea. Um but one of the things that started off I started getting in my head, I would say. Like maybe this is happening, maybe it's not, but eventually talk myself out of it. Was so me and Jacob, from where we're both so busy, we have like our find my friends on iPhone location on for each other. Like whenever we get to or leave each other's house. So um, I got a notification that he had left his house, but he's always like, hey, I'm going to like, I'm going somewhere. Just so like if something happens, like I know where he's at, obviously. And so I get a notification that he leaves his house, but he didn't tell me. He was going anywhere and it was super, early. it was like nine o'clock in the morning. And this was one Saturday that I was like up early and I get a notification that he left his house. So I text him and I'm like, or at first I check his location. Cause I'm like, okay, whatever. So I look and he, his location's turned off. And I was like, this is so weird. Like, this is so unlike him. And you know, I had even texted him. I was like, Hey, like, what are you doing? He's like, Oh, going to the store with mom. What are you doing? And I was like, <laughs> okay you know whatever well then it started like 30 minutes would go by an hour would go by and he was responding every like 30 minutes or 45 minutes and i was like this is so unlike him like what is he up to like it was just driving me crazy and so wow. he finally ended up texting me and saying like oh what are you doing and i said oh you know just hanging out at the house what are you doing he said same and i looked and his location was back on he was at home and i was like it had bothered me all day, but I just like let it go because I was like, you know, whatever. Maybe that is what he was doing. But we ended up talking about it later that night and he was like, oh, I'm planning a birthday surprise for you. Well, after the proposal and everything had happened, he was out to eat with my sister. So that was kind of the flip side of that of what was going on. Which was dumb because obviously I had, I had to like Google how to like mute <laughs> the notifications and it's worked all the way up to this point. If you swipe it off, it won't send that notification. I, I turned it off, and it still sent the notification. I said, that was the dumbest thing. That was the one hiccup I thought was. I wonder if you turned it off, like, it. after, though. No, because every time I always told myself, I was like, I mean, I would turn it off before I'd even leave my bedroom. Like, I was like, it's got to be, That's I think it's got to be off. Because it didn't even, like, it didn't notify me when you got home. I just happened to look. It was still off. That's that crazy. Point. That's what I'm saying. It was, it was the stupidest thing. Like, and I didn't even get the notification. Normally, it's literally like, I mean, I wouldn't even say it's a, it's like a half a block. When I pull it out of my driveway, it sends it. It didn't send it until literally I got to Bagel Exchange. That's, like, that's so how weird. far I, I get. Literally, I was about to park, and it said that I left my house, and I was like, "Which that restaurant?" I left my house way. six minutes ago. I it's was, like ten minutes away from his yeah, house. Yeah, I mean, it was the craziest thing. So I was kind of po'd about that, but what can you do? Because obviously, I had turned it off before that's to go crazy. like ring shop and stuff. Because the store, the ring store is actually very close to our house, so I was afraid it would say, "Jacob, you know, like I've come at your house." <laughs> And, and he's like, not in my house. I'm across the street, so it was kind of strange, but it worked all those times, though. This is true. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. That was the one the one hiccup was that. But, yeah, she totally knew what was what what I was asking, so. Who's Sydney? Yeah, I yeah. mean, she, well, she says she does, and I don't know. She might be bluffing, but she said that's what she thought it was as soon as I said something about birthday. She's like... Jacob ain't playing nothing for her birthday. But then she was like, well, it kind of makes sense, though. But, because I thought that was believable. I did. Because I wouldn't have said that wasn't unlike me mm -hmm. to do something like that. But, yeah, everybody just has a feeling. So, good luck, fellas, for <laughs> all the people who think they're going to get away with it. You're not. Everybody has the feeling about it. So Another question I got asked a lot was like, oh, was this like a part of your birthday? Like, was it like a birthday present or something? And... It wasn't, wasn't no, it? No, yeah. A lot of people, I, it was kind of confusing because I was telling people the perfect excuse was her birthday. And I think some people thought it was like a birthday gift. And it had nothing to do with her birthday. I even told her that mm -hmm. the day of. I was like, this is not, this is in no way related to your birthday. I guess it's totally separate. Because I always told her I never wanted to do it on like a holiday or anything like that. Like I wanted it to be its own mm -hmm. thing. I was just using her birthday as an excuse of why we were going somewhere. Yeah. So that's all that was. But And the birthday thing with her sister was to get her out of the house because I didn't want to text her about it. Of course, like when I texted her, oh, can we go Chick-fil-A break? She was like trying to get me to tell her on the phone what it was about. And I was like, 
No. <laughs> Need to just talk about it in person. I love it. But that's probably what gave it away, though. I should have just ignored her until the next morning. But <laughs> on top of all the talking to you know my family, her family, I was also obviously looking at the ring at that point, and I guess it was. I I mean it was. I don't even think, I think it was the week after I had the flu. Like, I think it was just a couple of days after I was not sick anymore that I started looking with, uh, actually, I, no, I take that back. I sent my mom in the store with a very detailed, like, list of stuff I was looking for, and she went in there, and then I think it was the next day I went in to, because I don't think it was that night. Just to, like, see what they had in stock? I actually... I think she went that day, and then I went that evening after work, and she came back and met me. I think it might have been the same to say, yeah, I mean, we're talking like five days after I had the flu was when I started looking, so it was pretty, it was early January. It was like the second week of January for sure. Mind you all, we had went ring shopping like shortly after Christmas, maybe the week after. Yeah, they, her and our friends were talking about like wedding band shopping, and I get just worked out so perfectly that she was like, you know, me and Jacob's been talking about getting my finger measured yeah so like it worked out perfect that they wanted to do that so yeah that we just looked while we were there out, like, yeah. perfect so that was very easy so i didn't have to like be weird about getting the ring size it all, it all worked out pretty good mm -hmm. didn't have to be worried about that didn't have to be worried about the nail she had a nail appointment the day before i plan on doing it so yeah I mean, like, it worked out very well the ring so early january I knew like what I wanted in a stone and they we ended up having to like look at some online like not online but like they had to like get them in like they didn't have them in the store yeah so as for the stone looked at a couple ones in the store and I didn't did like none of the ones that like, I really wanted and then we got one in which was an elongated oval and at first it was really pretty but it still wasn't exactly what I wanted um, but it was like an option. Um, like if I couldn't get exactly what I wanted, it was a close option. And then they got this one in. And that's when, like looking at that one and this one side by side, I was like, this one's way prettier than the other ones. Like I ended up really liking this one. Because it's a good like ratio. It's not as elongated as the other one. But learning about like an elongated oval, it has a... I can't remember what they called it, but it's some kind of like banding effect where the brilliance, which the brilliance is like the sparkle you see, like it's the reflecting back from the prism. But anyway, I got way too nerdy into the research of the stones, but um, if it's too elongated, it has like a bow tie. It's a bow tie effect and the sides of it don't reflect right. So that's how, and like when, of course, when you look at these side by side, I guess how I fell in love with that one because that one like just looked the best. But so that's how that one came along. We're also getting more diamonds in. They had like a diamond vendor coming in, but I never actually saw any of those because I told her how much I really liked this one, the lady in the diamond store. And she texted me like when that vendor came and was like, Big, I'm just being honest with you, like none of the ones that he has are any better than this one. So. I just took her word for it. I didn't look at them, which it's kind of nice just keeping down to like two to pick from because I didn't want like a ton of options, you know, like I didn't want like a ton of the exact same things, but oops, like little differences. But I like that one. It, it was a good ratio, I think. Like it looks, looks very pretty in my opinion. It's a beautiful ring, y'all. In case some of you all haven't seen it, it's beautiful. And it has like a little, I don't know if you can see it from here. That's, yeah. But it has a hidden halo underneath. So it's super beautiful, super sparkly. He he did a beautiful job. It's so pretty. Yeah, that stone. So out of out of the ones, that was definitely my favorite, obviously, because it's, it's when we had mounted. <laughs> yeah. But so I ended up basically like buying it but not buying it. Like it was like I ended up was like I put a deposit on it and was like, I want this one. So that happened, and then they didn't have a mount that would fit the stone uh, in the store, except for like a few. 
But we started looking, and she like was asking me if I wanted it just like, you know, plain, if I wanted it with diamonds, if I wanted it with like a halo. And I was like, well, honestly, I was like, in the past, we've always talked about halos. I said, but I personally don't like how mm -hmm. they look. Like, just me personally, nothing, you know. They're pretty, I just, they're not my favorite. And she was like, well, she's like, I've got this thing I can show you. And she showed me this mount with hidden halo. And I was like, then I was like, you know, I show me anything. I was like, I want that. So that's what ended up happening. They had to order this mount, though, because the one they had didn't fit. But yeah, when she showed me this hidden halo mount, I was like, that's what I want. So pretty. And then I almost debated on getting the exact same mount, but with different stones in it. But I don't, I don't know. That one, it would have been cutting it closer to time. And just like I didn't, I couldn't see it in person before it happened. Like, I mean, I could have, but it had been real, it had been tough. So I ended up going with that one just because I saw it in person. And I mean, like the second she showed it to me, I was like, oh, that's what I want. So that's what I ended up going with. But so how long did it take for the ring to get made? Um, so, so her birthday, so this was February. It's like it was Valentine's Day and it was her birthday. And I had finalized like making the decision because like they it was basically up to me to like and they just need confirmation like am I 100% sure and then they'll start working on it so it ended up t I mean I probably finalized it the first week of February and they didn't get it to me until the Tuesday before that Saturday but I think it was because Valentine's Day so it was happening they were just like this was the later due date and said so this was being worked on later so it was just like that so it took you know about three weeks. But so it was literally my birthday when it got done. Yeah, I picked it up literally on her on birthday. On my birthday. That's yeah. crazy. It was actually really cool. Yeah, but yeah, literally picked it up on her birthday. So Aww, that was cool. That's sweet. Very nice people. Very helpful. But that's my, I told her, I said, I said, looking at this stuff has been so fun. Like, that's a fun experience is to look at, look at the diamonds. Mm -hmm. But um, the mounts are overwhelming though. There's, there's a, so many different There's a bajillion options. mounts, so. I was glad like one stuck out to me like oh this is it because it, it was tough like looking at them at first until she showed me that one it was I probably looked at 10 of them probably the stone was a lot easier than the mounts were which was shocking I did not think that but but yeah it was it was fun but yeah the stone and the mount were separate so that's why because they had to they had it ordered both of them had to come in and they had to set it and everything so yeah, I probably went to the store like four times. I think four times Water before. Back and forth. Yeah, because I just want to see everything in person. I wasn't. We did, you know, we texted a lot, but I just I needed to see it in person too. But then, yeah, picked it up on her birthday with my mama. She came with me. I get nervous though. Stuff like that makes me nervous. <laughs> it was getting you know close because I have oh, like my work schedule kind of can sometimes be all over the place. Not necessarily like. You know, not knowing what days I work, but like sometimes I may end up having to work late when I wasn't anticipating it, and the George door closes relatively early. So it was that was what was making me nervous because I knew that Tuesday I would be able to pick it up. So thankfully they they got it to me that Tuesday. So now, guys, we're going to talk about the actual proposal and like leading up to it, just kind of how it went down. So it started off on my. It was the night before my birthday, so it was February 19th, which was a Monday, and he proposed on a Saturday. So it was the Monday before, and he had given me a piece of paper in a bag and just said, like, here, happy early birthday. And I was like, okay, cool. And so I opened it, and it was like, surprise birthday dinner in Asheville for us to whatever, Asheville, North Carolina. And I was like, okay, awesome. So... I was so pumped for this like surprise dinner or whatever because I was I mean we surprise each other often but like out of town I was like wow like that took a lot of work like this is a big surprise kind of thing so I was really excited for this dinner or whatever and the only reason why the whole lot plan because like her mom was even telling me she was like when are you going like tell her you want to go eat because she's about to start making plans for like her normal birthday dinner with everybody and it was literally the next day after me and her mom talked about it. She goes, yeah, I think we're going to go eat Saturday night with my family. And I was like, hmm, where <laughs> are we now? So when I got home that night, I texted her mom. And I was like, she said something about y'all going out to eat 
Saturday, Saturday, is that what, is that what we're doing? Um, cause she knew, uh, like she, obviously she knew that I, like we were talking about it and she goes, no, that's not what we decided. She's like, I think she's just saying that's when she thinks it's going to happen. So I was like, well, what do I do now? Cause I wasn't going to tell her, like I was going to let her open up as a birthday, like an actual birthday gift, like, oh, surprise dinner. Um, but she's like, oh, you may need to go ahead and tell her. So that next day after that, which isn't unusual for me to like put something in a piece of paper and no, like say he's it's done that like, before. like stuff that I can't get. Like, like get, I physically give. Yeah, like I can't yeah. wrap, you know, that. Like, I've done stuff like that. So it wasn't unusual, but that's why it ended up being just so, it wasn't on her birthday. Cause I was like, well, I guess I need to tell her now before yeah. she starts booking, booking plans for dinner. But yeah, yeah sorry. I'm going to, I'll just give my side of things as she, as she goes along. Yeah, that's fine. So, he gave that to me on Monday night. And fast forward to, like, Friday night. Me and my sister had already had a nail appointment because we get our nails done, like, every two weeks. So, it was perfect. Perfect for Jacob, right? Didn't have to do any work in I, that way. I text. It was hilarious because, I don't know, I think it was the night before I went to talk to her sister. She had texted me. She said, oh, yeah, I got a nail appointment on the 23rd. So I was texting her mom. I was telling my mom. I was I told Sydney. I was like, I was telling everybody because everybody says that's the hardest part. You know, it's like, like how do you tell somebody to get their nails, nails done? done get, yeah. You know, be dressed up. Yeah. So I was just stoked. I was like, don't even have to worry about yeah. it. <laughs> so me and my sister went and got our nails done. Well, my <laughs> me being the person I am, I literally wanted to get nails the color of this blanket. And y'all are probably seeing in the next video because those are the next nails I'm going to get. But anyways, so they were like this color. And my sister was like, you know, I'd really get like this color. The color's on my nails right now. It's like a nude color. And me being like the laid back person I am, I was like, you know what? You're right. Like maybe I should wait till it's more like spring. Like it's actually March before I get that. She's like, yeah. And so it was really funny because during the appointment, I kept like going back and forth between different colors, like colorful colors. And she's like, no, like, I really think you should get this one. I was like, okay, you know. I literally didn't think anything of it, y'all. And I just let it go, whatever. But then I got in my car. And I'm, like, looking at my nails. And I'm like, surely this isn't a sign. Like, she would have been, like, a lot more obvious about it, I feel like. But then, I, you know, I got in my head. But then I taught myself. I was like, no, no. Like, it's not. Because I didn't think our proposal was going to happen until, like, fall of this year. Like, I thought it was going to happen later this year. Had no idea. Um... So I, you know, I'd get in my head and say like, is this? And then I'd say, no, it's not happening. And, um, so yeah. <laughs> and earlier in the week I'd been asking Jacob, you know, like, what do I need to wear for this occasion? Like I'd say probably on Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know, what do I need to wear? Is this like a super fancy restaurant or is it like not? Like, what is it? And he was just like, oh, whatever you want. And I was like, I need to know like what I need to wear. I said, is it like more of leggings, jeans, or a dress kind of vacation? And he was like, probably jeans. And so, you know, once again, I was kind of like, okay, then this really isn't happening if he's telling me to wear jeans. Because <laughs> in my mind, I understand why you didn't know. Pictures are good of jeans. No, it did. It ended up looking really good. We ended up matching. <laughs> it looked good. But before that, I don't know. I didn't. I just always assumed you tell me to like dress up. But then I was like, that is like so obvious. It's like telling you to get your nails done, you know. I just think it's so obvious. Um. So, anyways, so Saturday comes around, and I don't know what it was, y'all. I took videos, and I honestly might put them in this video, like, here in a minute. But, um, I took some vlogs, because I just had to pin my stomach that it was happening. Like, and honestly, nothing had changed. It was just, like, I woke up that morning, and I was like, I think I'm going to get engaged today. Like, I was getting ready, and I was like, like, is this happening today? It was so weird. Well... <laughs> So, I'd come downstairs that Saturday. This is the day of the proposal on Saturday. I'd come downstairs from being up in my room, you know, whatever. And my mom is, like, dressed up. My dad's dressed up. But they're like, oh, we're going shopping and, like, looking. We're going to eat with some of our friends. Right. And that wasn't, like, out of the blue. And I was like, okay, you know, sounds good. But then I was like, you know, I'm going to go see, like, where they are. they going to, like, somewhere that's, like, kind of close by or where are they going? Well, I looked at their location and it was off. And... I my heart stopped that like confirmed it for me like because I'd already even before that I'd kind of been like this is happening today like I just have a really good intuition I guess and that just kind of confirmed it for me and I was like oh Such shoot day, this is gonna have like this is about Stalking to happen people. <laughs> and, 
it's just like more of a concern that like i just want to make sure i know where y'all are because like if something happens yeah i'm just kidding and i have no idea like it's just a concern <clears throat> thing you know um but anyways a terrible way to think but it's just the truth you know yeah. you never know but um so yeah i was like oh shoot like this actually might be happening so <laughs> it gets to about 2.50 and Jacob was like, okay, we need to leave like 3.15. Y'all, my hair was in a towel. I was still in my robe. I didn't have any makeup on, didn't have my hair done, didn't have an outfit picked out, whatever. And I called my best friend that lives in Texas and I'm like, Brooke, like I think this is happening today. Like I, I don't know, I don't know why, but like what if I come home engaged? And she's like, I don't know. I like, what if you do? I don't know. And she's like, it makes all, they all make sense, you know? And I was just like, no, but like, I feel crazy. Like I was literally driving myself crazy that I had like overanalyzed and overlooked into it to the point that I was like, I had convinced myself that this was going to happen. I was like, if this doesn't happen, one, this is going to be so embarrassing, but two, like I'm going to be so let down, right? So flash forward, you know, we're going to Asheville and I had talked, like I said, y'all, I had talked myself out of this so many times. Cause I was just like, it's not going to happen till later this year. Like I, you're all in your head, whatever. And I thought it was like, cause I was already kind of on edge. Like, oh, we're going to Asheville this weekend. Maybe it's happening. Maybe it's not. I was like, there's no way he would like do it. And, like, I just didn't think. He was still in a towel. I literally, I was at last minute, right? Yeah, she was like, I'll be ready. I'll be ready at three. <laughs> now, I, was I'm it three or three fifteen? No, you're supposed to be ready at three. Oh, so I was supposed to be ready at three. It was two fifty. My hair was still in a towel. Even Wait, better. Three forty-five. No, it was three thirty. It was. It was three four because yeah. my heart was racing. <laughs> Cause like I knew she was gonna be late. That's why I said three. I was freaking out and I was like, I don't know what to do. Cause I was in the house by myself. I was like, I have nobody to talk to about this. Like just all this pint up like nervousness or whatever. So I was gonna pick this like multicolored sweater. Cause Jacob obviously had told me to wear jeans. So I was gonna pick this like sherbet looking sweater. But I'm on my phone, on the phone with my friend. She's like, but what if you do get engaged? Like, do you really want to be wearing that? And I was like, <laughs> No, you're right. So I picked out like a cream white sweater and wore it with brown boots. Um, but anyway, so we ended up getting out of here around 345. And I mean, we were set dinner at five in Asheville. Now, mind you all, it's probably like an hour and a half, two hour drive, depending on traffic, if not more. And I mean, it was peak dinner time traffic, like five o'clock. So Jacob is sweating. Jacob is freaking out. But he was honest or he says he was. But, you know. In my mind, I was like, if this dude is really proposing to me, like, he's going to have clammy hands. He's going to be, like, not wanting to talk much, which he, he kind of was quiet, but I don't think it was anything out of the ordinary. And so, I'm, like, holding his hand. His hands aren't sweaty or anything, and I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. The only thing that I thought was, I was like, okay, maybe this is happening, and this is so funny, was he was wearing a button-up, like, tucked in with a nice vest, and I was like, Oh, this dude's dressed up. Like, I haven't seen him this dressed up since, like, our professional photos. I already prepared for that, though. I already showed her that outfit before. I was like, oh, I got this because I was thinking about wearing it to mine because I was traveling for work, like, not that long yeah. ago, like, just a few days ago. And I was like, oh, I'm going to, this probably I'm going to wear it then. So I kind of put it off like it was nothing, you know, out of the ordinary. But. So we're driving to Asheville, whatever, and we pull up. And we're in the middle of like 10 buck two, y'all. And I'm like, Jacob, where are we going? And he's like, you're just going to wait and see. And I'm like, okay, you know, the planner in me is like getting anxious. Over here. But at first I was like, I was like, I don't know where it's taking. Yeah, he was like, I don't know where it's taking us, but <laughs> we'll get there. I was the, like, must be what do you mean? Must be traffic or something. Oh, gosh. Because I was going to Marsh, <laughs> Marsh, North Carolina, which is not this Not big like downtown city, Asheville. Actually. It's yeah, like it's, right outside it's Asheville. Not what you think. I mean, and it was a beautiful area. It was just like. It was just very low population. It was very, yeah, very in the country, okay? I guess smaller than here by Yes, far. for sure. Yeah. And so we're pulling up, and I mean, honestly, I feel like we really pulled up out of nowhere. I don't I don't even remember how we got to this place. But we pull off, like, the main road, and we're, like, on the back roads, and then all of a sudden there's, like, this sign that says the ridge, which is where we got engaged. There's, like, a gate, and I'm like, okay, like, this place is fancy. And I'm, like, looking at my outfit, and I'm like, this dude told me to wear jeans like this is not a jeans occasion so we're driving down this like one way beautiful road we can put in the video here i took a video of that as well um but anyway so we're driving down this road 
and all I see is like this house at first because I'm like it's like winding around but we're just on the straightaway and I see this house and I'm like is that where we're having dinner because they had like a van outside of it with like their logo and I'm like he's like you know just wait and see and I'm like okay but then I look this way and first of all those are the only two like there's two venues on the property it was like the house and then there was this big beautiful venue that y'all will see in the video I'll show you um but it was just a beautiful venue and it was just like rolling hills and mountains like it was beautiful right so then I'm like getting even more anxious I'm like oh my gosh I really am underdressed like I'm freaking out I'm like why did he tell me to wear jeans so we pull up and we're parking well I thought I saw my dad's truck and I was like is that my dad's truck or once again are you ever thinking I was like no no it's probably just a work truck because it was like on this land and I was like oh it's just a work truck whatever like I said y'all I talked myself out of it many times because I didn't think it was going to happen this early me being the person I am I'm saying hold on Jacob we got a vlog I vlogged like as soon as we got the truck you know panorama as y'all will see in the videos that we put in here panorama of the place you know and then we're walking up and this place is made of windows like beautiful beautiful place and I'm like okay like surely I'll see like if this is, this is a proposal or something surely I'll see like family or something like that whatever but I'm looking in the venue and the in the windows and I don't see anything but like tables set up with like silverware and plates and these fancy dinner napkins I'm like he booked this place for us to have a dinner I was like this is so sweet like we're gonna have a private meal that's what I told her I was like, I was like this place is private yeah private meals so. So I was looking in and I was like, oh, this is what we're going to do. Like, how sweet is this? Well, then we walk up even further and there's like a little setup. And I'm like, oh, wait, this it. I'm confused. So then that threw me off. And then he's like, oh, we're going to have a picnic. I'm like, this is just so sweet. You know, I'm just not thinking anything of it at this point. I'm just like a picnic. Like, how wonderful is this? So now mind you all, this day it was freezing. It was like 40 degrees it was half snowing half sunny though but honestly it was like a hallmark movie because it was like we were taking engagement photos timing. and it was like the sun would just come through the what did you keep saying that day the sun was peeking through it's cheesy <laughs> the whole time we were driving up there i was it's really peeking worried. through it's raining it's cloudy <laughs> when her family and my family were driving up that morning it was like snow was covering the roads like sweeting that way it was like, like even snow my family was like sweeting. it's snowing up here like so anytime I ever saw sunlight on the way up, I was like, it's peeking through, you know, just being like silly. Being goofy. Like in my mind, I was actually that excited. I had to let it, because I was like, oh, please, like, don't, you know, don't yeah. let this happen. But it was crazy. It was still snow flurrying and like cold and windy and everything until we started taking pictures. And it was like just, just mad. Like, it was crazy. It was really crazy. It was. It was honest to Pete. Like, I have a video of it in my mind, and it was honestly like a Hallmark movie. <laughs> because it was like... I just don't even know. It was just, it was so beautiful. But yeah, like he was saying, it was like half flooring, half sunny, half cloudy, like all these things. And, um, you know, we're standing there and he's just kind of talking to me, making small talk. He's like, you want to sit down? Like, what do you want to do? And I'm like, well, you know, like whatever you want to do, like, are we going to sit down? Like in my mind, I'm thinking we're about to have a literal picnic. So I'm like, oh, do we need to like sit down so we can like enjoy the picnic or he just kind of stands there and doesn't really answer but at the same time the wind is like blowing over some stuff and we're trying to like get it and um, stuff like that there's other stuff going on so we're just standing there he keeps rubbing my back telling me like he loves me and i'm like you know i love you too and then he just go quiet and then he'd do it again he did about four or five times he just go i love you <laughs> and then he just looked around i was like i had i had like a I had it all planned out in mm -hmm. my head, but the first I said I love you, and I was kind of that was like the he beginning. Was that was the love. beginning phrase. <laughs> After I said that, then like the like the, the rug. rug blew like and folded over, so that distracted me. So I fixed it. <laughs> so then I was like, okay, I love you. you know, start yeah. again. Well, then like <laughs> the a noise, blew yeah, over. vases blew over. So then I did it again. Then a noise. This camera that we're recording on was. Hidden, hidden, like to like record, it, and then it goes. You know, it makes Diddy. its noise, and I go. So that threw what me is that? Because I knew exactly what it was, and I was like, "Oh, that threw me off." So then I tried one more time. I just, it just, I don't know. It was so funny though. The plan eventually... did not work, and it just normally that doesn't throw me off, but for whatever reason, like the littlest thing would just completely throw me off. I guess because at that point it was happening yeah <laughs> that camera it literally cut off right before jacob proposed and he was so yeah. upset about it but I was. 
We got a different video and it all worked out. FYI, for anybody who has a camera that uses an SD card, if you have a MacBook and you delete the clips off of Previous the SD clips. card and don't empty your trash can, those clips are still taking up space in your SD card. So, just so that you know, you have to empty the trash can on the MacBook first. It might be with Windows too, I don't know. I, I had it on a MacBook. Um, so, yeah, just FYI. And then I hear, you know, we're he's sitting here, he's saying I love you, whatever. And like he said, it, I mean, he went ding, ding, ding. And I go, what is that? And he just, like, ignored it and he kept saying I love you. And eventually I looked at him and I was like, you know, I love you, but, like, what is going on? Like, I was starting to get, like, so worried because I was like, why does he keep saying I love you? Like, I think I was like, why are you saying I love you so much? Like, what's going on? And that's when he started. Or, and then I turned around mm -hmm. in the window and I saw my sister's phone propped up. And I was like, why? You can literally see in the video, too. I'm like, why is Sydney's phone right there? And that's when I, I was like, oh, my God, this is about to happen. Like, this isn't really happening. And then he, like, took both my hands. And that's when I knew. As soon as he took both my hands, I was like, oh, this is happening out. Like, this is real life. And because um, I had talked, I mean, that whole day and, like, the whole week of, I had talked myself out of it. I was just like, this isn't really happening. Like, it's not happening. But <laughs> I wish honest to be. The whole reason I wish we could, well, obviously, besides obvious reasons that we had on video, was to see how many times I could say this isn't really happening. Because, I mean, I literally said it. You can see me mouth it in the, because the other video doesn't have audio, because it was on the inside and we were on the outside. Mm -hmm. But I literally, the photographer came out. He had a photographer and everything, because he's just awesome like that. And literally, she came out. She's like, I wish I could have had a counter for how many times you said this isn't really happening. And honestly, it's just like, and for any of y'all out there that have dated somebody for a long time, it's just like, you know, you sit here and you play this idea of like, you imagine what it's going to be and like what your ring's going to look like and all this other stuff. And then it actually happens and you're like, oh my, like this is real life. And that's like what it had happened to me. I was just like, I had sat there and thought about it so much and like book Jacob so much like, you know, when's it going to happen? You know, just giving him a hard time all the time. And, um. I just, you know, you sit there and you think that and then it actually happens. You're like, wait, this is really happening. Like, this is real life. And even when it happened, I mean, like I woke up the next day and it just felt like a dream. I was like, oh, that, like that didn't happen. That was just a really good dream that didn't actually happen, but it happened. Yeah. But yeah, and then I turned and saw my sister's phone and that's when he proposed, but <laughs> so sweet. It was this most thoughtful, sweetest thing ever. And he did really, I mean... Like, pulling off wise, like, I didn't think, I thought I would, like, 100% know, like, oh, this is 100% happening. But he did really good in holding, keeping the secret, I guess. But it was a very sweet moment and <laughs> ended up, like, all my family was there, all his family was there. Um, minus his brother who works out of town and we missed him so much, but we got to call him right after. And, um, yeah, and we got drone footage, we got, we had a photographer <laughs> Um, which we'll be getting those photos back probably this week sometime, if not at the latest, probably next Saturday. Yeah. Um, so we'll be sharing those with you guys and on our social media and stuff, but yeah, yeah her it was whole, a really good day. Her whole family, everybody was there and like, I still didn't know how one did it because in my mind, I didn't, like I wanted everybody to be there and spend like the rest of the evening together and like literally the morning of like before it was like right before my mom was leaving and like her parents were leaving because they had to, they got there before us i like texted my mom and i was like i think i know what i wanted y'all to do i want y'all to just stay in there and then i'm gonna ask her to take a picture in front of the doors and then i want y'all to like open the doors and it was great because my mom ended up like knocking on the door and it just worked out great like it was it was sweet. i thought it was cool family was like hiding in the venue and then my me and my brother split a drone a couple years back so he he flew it around for me. And so cool. I was very glad for that because it's cool videos. It's really yeah. cool videos. I mean, I literally, I don't know how I didn't pass out. Honestly, if you watch the video, I locked my knees so hard, like so many times. Like, I honest to gosh, I don't know how I didn't pass out. Because, I mean, even when I saw the ring, on top of like this being real life, I saw the ring and my jaw literally hit the ground. I was like, oh my, this really is a dream. <laughs> like, because I would have never expected him to do as much as he did and get what he did for a ring. Like, he just went above and beyond more than I could have ever, uh, way better than what I ever could have imagined or anything like that. So now we have a wedding to plan and y'all will get to come along with us for all that stuff. Might have some tips for y'all or 
what not to do. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. Well, we're definitely going to learn some <laughs> stuff along the way. So we'll share our experiences and all that kind of stuff. So. I was going to say, too, that so we ended up um, also tip for anybody who knows the Asheville area. There's a million restaurants down there. But not all of them can seat like a bigger group, mm -hmm. so I'd be worried about that. But we yeah. ended up eating after the in, back the, in town. Yeah, we came back home and everybody ate. Even a couple more friends joined us to surprise her. So it was so sweet. Yeah, it was cool. It was so sweet. I have to tell about. It's like one of my favorite details about the whole day. Mm -hmm. But he, so whenever he asked me out, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a whole funny story. Y'all probably heard. I, we've definitely told that story on our uh, channel before, but. He had had like, he had asked me to be his girlfriend or whatever through like a dozen of roses. And then at the bottom, I'm so embarrassed about the story till it's day. There was one rose that was sticking up. Like if this is the bundle of roses, I mean, it was sticking up like this above the rest of them. And I don't know. I think it was just nerves that day. I don't know. But he was like, you know, do you notice anything different about these roses? And I was like, no, nope, sure don't. And he's like, are you sure? And I'm like, hold on. I think I have a picture. Let me see if I can find yeah, it. She sees them, and she's like, oh, they're just so pretty. Immediately moves into, like, the different scene. I just moved them. I was them. like, well, you know, let's look at them roses. <laughs> let's look at this one more time. <laughs> and I'm looking, I'm like, yeah, like, these are beautiful. And now, like, he's like, no, like, let's look at them again. Long story short, I'll show you all a picture if I can find it. Um, I could put one up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll put it I'll up right it here. Up, yeah. So, he had a note on the bottom that said, like, will you be my girlfriend? And then, oh, my gosh, at the proposal. It's so sweet. Um, he had another like little bundle of roses and at the bottom of it said like, will you marry me? Which that's not how he asked me, but it was a, a sweet little addition detail. Yeah, I just wanted it. I just wanted it. There. It was so sweet. It's so thoughtful. <laughs> so sweet and so thoughtful. He, like Shout I said. Shout out to all the family because they, they obviously had to take the note too there. Yeah, our was, families are incredible too. Um, yeah. but you're the mastermind behind it all. So. Not easy. No. It could be easy, but you know, depending on how how you do, how it, you do it. it. If you want to do something like that, a lot of ways it was just very extravagant, things, especially once you get in the best way people involved. Like if you truly want to have like both families like there, it could. You know, it's very logistical. You yeah, have a lot it of logistics can be hard to figure to get out. Because I mean, it gets down to like trying to hide cars and stuff like that. Like that was the worst. When like we discussed. It was that. such a small venue, anyways. Like there was. I mean, if everybody would have parked at that venue, like, I would have seen everybody's car. So, they had to meet, like, off-site and carpool and stuff. It was perfect. So, I mean, you really need to limit this to, like, two or three cars. Mm -hmm. They got it down to two, and then the photographer, and that was literally, like, there was nowhere else to park. Yeah. So, like, it, it worked out perfect that there was, yeah. like, three hiding spots for a car. All right, y'all. So, that's the end of today's video. And for the future, we're definitely going to try to post some more engagement content mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And then, like she was saying, like... Over the next, you know, couple years, we'll we'll be planning a wedding, so we'll have plenty of content to share with how that's going and all that. But yeah, if y'all have any other questions about the engagement, then be sure to leave them down below, and we'll we'll get to them. And, yeah. Um, yeah. More more to come about it, and yeah, it was great. Yeah. yeah. With that, we will see y'all next week. Bye, y'all.